April 9th and 10th, the sun is in Aries and the moon is in Gemini. And Mars is right next to the moon. So let's start by that. So first of all, we got fire and air. Aries, va 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 voom. Energy plus. Really get up and go. So much fun. And then Gemini. Let's talk about it. So this, with the sun and Mars standing by, Mars adds fuel to the moon. It makes somebody very verbal. Like the excessive ability to communicate. So I have one of my best friends has this configuration. It's a man. And he always says, I hate my moon in Gemini because it forces me to, have to talk about my emotions. Perfect answer. Wrong answer, but that's how Aries are. The right answer is talk about your emotions. These couple of days, Tuesday and Wednesday, with Mars and the moon together, it can worse make you say things you meant not to say and be a little caustic and too speaking too quickly and not meaning what you're saying. At best, it gives you the get up and go. If you don't have air in your chart, and if you want to find out about that, you can read my book, The Missing Element. If you're missing air and you can't talk, and some people come that way, when the moon and Mars are together, this is a perfect time in the heavens to support your ability to fulfill your missing element. So I really want to encourage you to find the way to get to your words during these few days. And it makes you antsy. Aries and Gemini, super chi when I think of my friend, always in motion, always wiggling, making us funny and laughing. He's got such a ridiculous sense of humor. Aries Gemini, which is who I am backwards, is the ability to be on your feet and just talk really quickly and make a mistake and not be self-conscious. Now, Mercury is still conjunct Neptune. It's the wildest thing in Pisces. So that is affecting all of us. That's a universal influence. It's been here for almost two months and it makes it feel a little spacey. And then when you have the moon in Gemini, which doesn't get along with Pisces, there is a little bit of a high charged, kind of a versatile energy that makes you scattered. So stay on your Aries energy. That's a great time during spring right now with this energy force here to be in your body, to be physical, to wake up. This is a great time Tuesday and Wednesday and say, how do I get my physical energy to help me get out of being scattered and just do what's required? That's one way to solve the problem of being too versatile and too scattered and multitasking is to get back to your list and get your body behind it and just check things off. That's what I'm going to say. Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you, April 9th and 10th, this is a very fun energy, but when the moon is conjunct Mars and there's kind of a Gemini energy, we can make a boo-boo and bump into things or move too fast or be impulsive without thinking. So just warning you.